Hi, I'm back on the PTS with another decorating video. Look, it's actually Carvinda this time. <laughs> they moved all my characters over, all the Americans' characters over to the um, PTS so for, for a limited time only. We actually get to play with our own characters. Um, so this is a video of how I turned what might have been either a stable or a workshop into a guest house. Robin and Chris. Um, to start off, I just wanted to show you um, what it looked like before. Um, where is that? Right, so this is how it looked when I started. And I thought, I mean, I thought from the beginning, this is Robin and Chris's guest house. But I thought just throw a carpet down, some chairs and stuff, and it would be fine. But it really didn't work out at all. No matter what I did, it still felt like it was like outdoors and like it was a shed. It wasn't nice. Um, so I went and looked at what our house looks like on the inside, this house. And I noticed that although it still has the same rock floor, it has this wainscoting around the sides. And at the base, it doesn't have stone, it has wood. So I thought about that a lot and how I could fix it. And um, I've been watching some videos by a really great decorator called Alara Northwind, who's done up a bu bunch of houses on this server. And she always puts a second floor down um uh, up i mean like a, an upper floor she adds one so that's an idea i got from her um i want to put a link of hers i hope i will remember down in the um comments i'll try um but anyway what am i looking for oh yeah eso <laughs> okay anyway so um she uses basically there aren't any building materials available there are a few things like a board a stage there's some crappy looking wood that comes on a big pallet. Um, there are a few rocks, but really they're meant for probably landscaping. And I'm not really sure what else, but it's really hard to change anything about the buildings. But I tried putting down the wood that she puts for a second floor and it actually really worked. It worked out really well. It's not as perhaps as finished as I would like it to be, but it looks way better than it did. So first of all, this is where we keep our animals. We don't need a barn because we have this lovely wood elf tent. <laughs> We've got Roger Squar and my elk and now Robin's horsey. Um, Chris, we couldn't put your horse in here because technically this is my house and I can only add pets that I own. So I wasn't able to put your imperial horse in here or I would have, or actually I might have needed a bigger barn. <laughs> anyway, so here's the little deck guest house. Um, it doesn't have a door. Hope you guys don't mind that. <laughs> it's only snowy here. Um, so, but I did find a tapestry that fits in the doorway. That's not too ugly. Now, Robin, I really tried to keep in mind your preferences for greenish, bluish type colors, not red and gold, which is what almost everything in the game is. So I had a hard time finding furniture, but I came up with this much. Um, this is the downstairs, but I think I'll show you the upstairs first because um, I always start with the bedroom. I don't know why that is, but I think it might be because it's so obvious that the first thing you need to do is put in a bed. Also, I guess I live in the bedroom, so for me, it's the heart of the home. <laughs> so I got you guys this Breton bed because it has a blue comforter instead of something else. I put extra pillows on to make it cuter, and also those those pillows look kind of dirty that, that, that it comes with. I figured left side... Chris's bedside table, right side, Robin's elegant lady bedside table. Whoops, I tried to move, it didn't. Uh, it's a little bit hard to navigate in here. Oh yeah, see, with the bendy legs, it's pretty. And I figure every bedroom needs a fireplace for added romance. And also if you have a giant gaping open window, you might get a little chilly. <laughs> Back here is um, a little sort of Robin area for primping. Uh, and doing papery stuff but look it's all done you have a scroll so you already did all your work you don't have anything to do here we have a space for your nail polish bottles <laughs> hanging shelf for those already hung full mirror and here is a trunk for all your costumes that you guys will be buying as soon as you become fully indoctrinated okay <laughs> So for the downstairs, again, I really tried to stick with blues and greens as much as possible. And I managed to find a few things, a lot of things in Dark Elf. Um, I know it's not the ideal green. Probably be nice to have something a little more cheerful, but 
Um, I like these sofas pretty well. There are only like four sofas in the game and most of them are hideous. So um, Roger and I use these all the time. We have Kitty and we have a ball of string, uh, which can either be for knitting or for the cat. Cat seems involved. Now not anymore. Okay. <laughs> uh, teapot. Roger insisted because he's uh, of the strong inclination that Chris is a big tea drinker. Don't know if that's true or not, but if so, there you go. You're welcome. Uh, lots and lots of books for Robin to read. Little snackies here. And only vegetable items. No meat, racks, or anything like that. <laughs> um, there is no window here. I wish there were, but... Um, I put the shutters up because they're a nice blue color that I can't find anywhere else and it would be very nice to have a window there. Actually in that space up above if you look at the um, original picture at the beginning uh, that had that was an open window that had the rocks behind it from the wall but they bricked it in. How depressing is that? But on the other hand maybe a little warmer. So that's it. Oh yeah here's the floor. It's a little crappy as you can see but it, it works better that believe me it works better than it did. <laughs> with the wood on the floor. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, take care. Bye.